In this video, we are going to look at unstoppable domains, which is a new type of domain that you can own because it's on the blockchain. So you own it as an NFT. You can set up a website on it that is uncensorable. And you can also do all sorts of cool stuff with it, like connect your crypto wallet addresses at it and receive crypto at a dot crypto domain or at a dot Bitcoin domain. So stay tuned because that's what we're going to explore today. What's up guys, Dirk here from intelligentcryptocurrency.com. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. After you do, click the notification bell to make sure you get future updates. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, so thank you for that. And of course, if you want to get update notifications via email, my email list is completely free. It's the link in the description down below. Click that, enter your name and email, and then I can send you updates every time I upload a new video or if there is something important in the crypto world to share with you today. So before we get into today's content, just a quick note about our sponsor, Prime XBT, who have sponsored the channel for the month. They call themselves a next generation trading platform that allows you to trade global financial markets using Bitcoin, USDT, USDC, and more. And it's actually even possible to trade crypto, stock indices, commodities, and Forex from just a single account. So they were established in 2018, so they've been around for a while. They currently serve clients in more than 150 different countries, and they provide top tier liquidity and a wide range of trading tools while maintaining security, liquidity, and enabling a safe trading environment for everyone. So if you want to check them out, you can create a free account with them today. It's the first link in the description below. If you use the voucher code Diggy50, you also get a deposit bonus all the details are below in the terms of conditions, so check that out if you want first link in the description below. All right, so we have unstoppable domains. And as the name suggests, they are literally domains that are unstoppable. So a domain, in case you don't know, it's quite simply this, what we have, what we type into our browsers, right? Google.com, Yahoo.com, Gmail.com, unstoppabledomains.com. Now, traditionally, this has been the way that the internet has operated for the last 20, 30 years, where that is how we know the internet today, okay? You type in a domain, it's like an address, right? It's a destination, you type that in and it loads something from a centralized server. And that is the key word here and why this is so interesting what I'm about to share with you today because the internet is all hosted on centralized servers. So somewhere on the world, either in a private server or a data center, or you know, you, you pay a web host to host your files for you at some point. So while the majority of people won't be able to access that, you know, if there is anything that's happening, if those centralized servers get taken offline, basically the website is down. But there are other interesting ways, and we'll get to that in a second. That's just one of the features of unstoppable domains. And you can see over here, so they started with .zil and .crypto, okay? So instead of .com, you have .zil and .crypto. Now, the difference with these domains is that they are actually NFTs, so non-fungible tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. Except for .zil, all these other ones are on the Ethereum blockchain, meaning that you can purchase that domain extension and you can own it outright forever. Unlike a .com or a .net or a .org, where you have to pay a domain registrar an annual fee of usually somewhere between 10 and $20 a year, indefinitely to be able to lease that domain. But even though you fully own it, you still have to pay an annual fee with this. Once you buy it, it's yours. There's no annual fees, nothing like that. And you can fully control it in your crypto wallet because it's on the Ethereum blockchain. So that means that people can't confiscate it, right? Once you own it, just like you have your crypto, your private keys, you own that domain name. So let's just say whatever you own .crypto, let's just say I own Dirk.crypto, that would be my domain name and nobody can take that. And then the cool thing, what I'm gonna show you now, is that I can use that, I'm gonna use that as an example, I actually don't own it, Dirk.crypto, okay? So if I own that domain, I can build a website on it so someone can type in Dirk.crypto and I'll show you in a second how that all works. That's super interesting because it can be an uncensorable domain that's not hosted on a centralized server. Very, very cool. But you can also put in your wallet addresses because that way, people can just send me Bitcoin or Ethereum and, and just put in my address Dirk.crypto instead of putting in the very long, you know, user unfriendly address 
which is all the numbers and letters that you usually get with a Bitcoin or Ethereum address. So you can see over here, this is the back end. When you purchase a domain, you have this option of adding your crypto addresses to this domain. So you can enter your Bitcoin, your Ethereum address, your LTC, XRP, Zill, and whatever else they are supporting. So keep in mind, this is still a fairly young and developing product. So over the next few years, I can see this getting a lot bigger. At this moment, you know, there's still limitations to it, which at the same time also provides a huge opportunity and to those who are early it's always that is always the case right in the beginning when you're early it usually there's it's not as smooth and efficient and mass adopted as it could be down the line but down the line when that is achieved then you already miss out on the opportunity because most of the good domain names are already gone right so you can enter your address you can even put in usdc for example all that kind of stuff and let's just say again i own dirk.crypto then I can basically be like, if, if someone wants to send me Bitcoin, they can send me Bitcoin to Dirk.crypto instead of typing out the whole address. And I will receive that crypto in the address that I put here in the back end. Now, at the moment, there is one small catch to that. It is only supported currently by these different types of wallets. So, because um, they're basically building this out still, they have to create integrations with every type of wallet so it doesn't work everywhere just yet but over time as they continue to get more of these integrations you can see they already have coinbase wallets trust wallet my crypto zilpay all, all these wallets are coming but it's not completely on every single wallet or every single exchange so even if i own dirk.crypto not every single place is going to be able to send me crypto at this point in time i think over the coming months and years that is something that they're working on expanding that adoption and that's why we're still early and that's why it's interesting for me it's a it's a completely new concept and there's definitely no guarantee that this is going to take off but i do see the potential with it and i do see the need for having um human friendly uh crypto addresses put it that way right because you simply just can't remember this bitcoin or ethereum address that's you know how many characters long it just makes no sense. But hey, if you're like, hey, pay me at Dirk.crypto or pay me at, you know, John.crypto or uh, Sarah.crypto or whatever the case is, right? Then it's much, much easier to get mass adoption for, for crypto also as a payment method. So I think this is very cool. So there's a bunch of other cool stuff that you can do. And because, like I said, it is an NFT on the Ethereum blockchain, you own this outright and you can transfer, right? You can transfer it to other users. You can transfer it to any other address on the Ethereum blockchain. And you can see over here, you can also sell the domain. But what is cool is because it's an NFT, you can list it on NFT marketplaces. And at this point in time, it's very easy to list it on OpenSea, OpenSea.io, which is a huge NFT marketplace, meaning that you can resell these NFTs for anyone who wants to buy it. So you can see over here, this is Unstoppable Domains, the collection on OpenSea.io. You can see they have 274,000 items, 52,000 owners, and you can see the volume over here. So there's been a thousand ETH worth of volume already traded. And basically you can buy and sell these unstoppable domains, these uh, NFT domains on uh, NFT marketplace. So you can see over here, tradersguide.crypto, Tour Brazil, um, front row tickets.crypto. You can see newly minted on auction, techgeeks.crypto. You know, there's all sorts of cool things over here. So check this out the top 25 most expensive domain names that were ever sold. Voice.com was sold for $30 million, and I believe that was sold to EOS, actually, to Block.1, um, the guys from there. They bought that, I think. But you can see over here the 25 most expensive domain names, and these are basically .com domain names, and that, that's obviously the main thing that we use the internet. But this is just to give you an idea of actually the opportunity with these kind of domains. You can see carinsurance.com, $49 million. Insurance.com, $35 million. Vacation Rentals, 35 million. PrivateJet.com, 30 million. Voice.com, 30 million. Internet.com, 18 million. So you can see millions and millions and millions of dollars for domain names. And that's because you can consider it an asset because obviously the most common domain extension is .com at this point in time. 
And because there's only one of each, if you happen to own that and someone else wants it or a company wants it or something like that, you know, it can be worth a lot of money to a potential buyer. So applying that to these kind of extensions, .crypto, .coin, .wallet, they've re recently released all these different other ones, these ones that I've highlighted here, .coin, .wallet, .bitcoin, .x. Um, who knows if it's ever going to take off in the same way that .com will take off. But as we're seeing digital assets and cryptocurrencies grow and develop, we've had $17 billion invested by VCs this year alone into crypto and blockchain startups in one way or another. That's $17 billion. What do you think is going to happen over the next years if this gets much bigger in terms of the tech, in terms of blockchain, crypto, wallets, all that kind of stuff? Maybe this is something that's going to take off. And again, there's no guarantees, right? But it's pretty cool that you can actually go and search for a domain and then just purchase that and own it outright. Maybe in future it doesn't doesn't get worth anything. You know, like a lot of domains these days are also worthless. A lot of dot com domains aren't really worth much. But if you can get a single dictionary type words with a good domain extension in future, that may be worth something to someone else, right? Like we saw, you know, privatejet.com, insurance.com. But a lot of these single dictionary type words are already going to be taken up because a lot more people have those ideas that they want to buy it. But because we are still fairly early to this type of domain and this type of extension, basically there might still be opportunities where you're able to, you know, purchase a domain name like that. And in the long term, maybe in future, it's going to be worth something. You can just go here and you can basically type in whatever you want, right? So if I want to see if the name Dirk is Awesome is available, you can see all these extensions are still available. Dirk is awesome .crypto .coin .bitcoin. And I can just go and purchase these and you can see the prices, right? It's normally it's about 40 bucks, sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 100, it really depends, right? And if I go and buy this domain name right now, I would own it outright. I buy it once, no more renewal fees or anything like that. And then, you know, who knows, in future, maybe somebody wants to buy this for me and then I can name my price just like with any asset. You know, if you own real estate, if you own whatever and someone else wants to buy it from you, you know, you can name your price and maybe you make a deal, maybe you don't, right? But it could be worth a lot more in future. So if you want to check that out, you can obviously go to unstoppabledomains.com or you can use my referral link in the description below. If you use that, I do appreciate that. But again, it's not absolutely necessary. This is not a sponsored video by Unstoppable Domains or anything like that. Basically just sharing this because I think it's really, really cool. And then finally, I just want to share a bit more about how you can build a website on this. Now, I haven't actually tried this myself. So in future, I will set this up and I will make another maybe tutorial or walkthrough on how to actually do this. But this is the possibility. So you can actually build a website on this. Now, the interesting thing is that, like I said earlier, normal websites, you have to buy a web host and you have to pay for web hosting and it's on a centralized server. Now, what is cool about this is that they have a deal with a system called Interplanetary File System, IPFS. And this allows for decentralized web hosting. Basically, if you create a website on that, it's not on a centralized server in a similar way to Bitcoin being decentralized, right? There's no central Bitcoin server. It's spread out over nodes all around the world. Same thing with this. IPFS is spread out over different nodes. So it becomes much harder. I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible to not take it down, but it becomes much, much harder for a website to be taken down, which in this world of censorship is a pretty interesting option that allows you to basically create a website that can't be censored. So I'll add links to this below and you can go and read this, but basically what is IPFS? So basically a summary here, IPFS provides high throughput, low latency data distribution. It is also decentralized and secure. This opens up several interesting and exciting use cases. It can be used to deliver content to websites globally store files with automatic versioning and backups, facilitate secure file sharing and encrypted communications. And this is an open source project. It has been around for a while. Obviously it has its challenges. Um, I don't really know how the ins and outs of this all works. So that is something on my to-do list. So I'm going to dive into IPFS. I'm going to learn how this all works. I'm going to try and set up a website on my unstoppable domain, see if I can do all of that. And at some point in future, I will make a tutorial on that. But it looks very, very promising how this all works. A decentralized internet, truly like 
we've seen before with with obviously with cryptocurrencies but also look at the previous music sharing site napster right that was a peer-to-peer -peer based music sharing site and then we had BitTorrent, which is the same thing for movies and other files where basically the users become a node and help share the files and help create this network of decentralized information sharing of files very cool if this can happen with websites and stuff too so again i'm just sharing this with you guys i think this is super interesting these unstoppable domains okay so you know go and have a look check it out um, uh, the link is below you can use my referral link or not appreciate it if you do of course but um you can check that out and you can go and look to see if any domain names are available of course i would say um, just from my point of view if you have these really type of long domain names in general they're not going to end up being worth very much what tends to be worth something is a, a dictionary domain name so a single word domain name if those are still available or a phrase like a popular phrase or uh, two words or three words you know if you can own that and that's something that's going to be in demand because ultimately the idea behind it is that you're going to want to sell it to someone who wants it right so something that means something a dictionary name word something that a business can use um and so on and so forth people's names obviously you know so the name Dirk.crypto is not available and I don't own it, right? So there's a lot of people who have the same name. If you happen to own the person's name, right? In future, who knows, right? Like, let's just say maybe I own uh, Michael Saylor, right? If I can buy Michael Saylor, maybe he wants to purchase the domain, right? In future, or who knows, billionaires, millionaires, and maybe they want to pay for that if this really ends up taking off, you know, own your name.crypto, own your name.bitcoin, pretty cool idea. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this interesting. There's a lot of development in crypto and digital assets in the blockchain. I think we're still in the very early stages. Over the next you know, five to 10 years, I think we're gonna see so much more development. And it's a good idea to stay on top of these trends because again, the early bird gets the worm and all of this is still new. Um, there is still a lot of friction. It's not as easy to do all this stuff now, but because of that, the opportunity potential is also there because once everything becomes easy and well known and mass adopted the opportunity to get in cheap or to buy available domains or anything like that in this evolving crypto space obviously becomes much much less so guys thanks for watching smash the like button leave a comment with your thoughts if you have any and of course if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell get on my email list in the description below and i will see you in the next video